Having a good whip pretty much takes a lot of bike skill. It's one of those things, the bigger you crack it, the better it comes back. I learned how to whip just off natural jumps. So when you go to a ramp or a man-made lift, it's like, oh man, this is easy. Versus going off of a natural hill that's all rocky and rutted up. I think it takes a lot of skill. You gotta have bike positioning. You gotta know when to crack it, how long to hold it. Bring it back too fast, you'll end up going the other way. And a lot of people have seen that. You start going the other way and swap out and end up biting the cheese. <laughs> I thought it was cool a month later, you know, open the trans world and see a full page spread of me pretty much upside down. It almost looked like I was backflipping. Everyone that called me, you know, was like, dude, did you backflip that jump? Or what is that, a flip whip or something? And I was like, no, it's just a whip. 